this this team, though it uh, you know it returns a lot, only lost uh, one uh, one starter from last year, but this team with the returners and with a freshman class that seems like they've been around for a while, there's a certain familiarity uh, that I could sense. Do you being in it every day? Do you do you sense that as well? Yes, I, you know that's the beauty of the NCAA allowing us to bring the, the first year student athletes in in the summertime. So they started. You know, back in August, late August, they were here, you know, getting to know, getting familiar with campus, getting familiar with their teammates, playing together, you know, really um, developing a camaraderie as early as August. And uh, so I think that has been a big benefit for our program, um, you know, and I think really helps as, as you go into the year. Looking at this season, um, the schedule is certainly... Uh, challenging the non-conference schedule specifically is pretty challenging. I know you wanted to to get the team ready for conference play, <laughs> which is it, which is tough enough on its own. But just speak to, to the schedule you've put together because uh, yeah. there's always a fine line between you know stiff competition, getting ready for the conference play, and you know and, and maybe being too tough or sometimes too lax. I know it's always you're right in that regard, but I think we've got some nice balance. I mean, we have some heavy hitters, obviously with Oklahoma and on the road at Minnesota, at Michigan State, at Wisconsin. So, um, But I, then I think we've got you know some teams that we're very comparable to as well in non-conference. Bradley University, Northern Iowa University, um, uh, we've got uh, Chicago State, Western Illinois, Illinois State. So I think we have a nice balance of teams that are in our league, quote unquote, um, that we can be very competitive with are and then as well as the heavy hitters to give our players opportunities um, but even the Illinois States, Northern Iowa, they were all you know postseason teams, NCAA, NIT postseason teams so that's ultimately the goal we want and where we want to be so that's why we play those teams. The, um, the conference itself in, in five years now every year it gets a little bit more difficult, a little bit tougher, it's not just rhetoric, it really is true. Yes. Uh, when, when you see what uh, Green Bay did last year in the postseason what Cleveland State did to, to get to the postseason. You got two bids from your conference. Mm -hmm. What does that do for the rest of the teams in the league, like yourself? Uh, on the one hand, certainly uh, you'd like to be there yourself last season, but it's got to give uh, really uh, encouragement to the other eight members of the conference. Most definitely, and I think that's why we keep getting better, is because the league keeps getting better and we're able to attract, attract another level player um, because we are competing at, at such a much higher level. We're, we've got, um, I think, a better reputation as a league, um, which is bringing in better talent. So, um, you know, and you know, I think our, our league is the most athletic it's ever been. You know, you're seeing uh, Detroit and, and Wright State, and we weren't as athletic back in my early years here, and we're becoming a much more athletic team league, um, which I think is really helping with the competitiveness. Without giving too many too much information away as we'll be posting this online. What type of team would you like to have this year? What type of tempo do you want Panther games to have? What kind of what, what kind of pace would you like to dictate to opponents this year? Um, you know, I mean, we, we're always looking to run first, primary, secondary, and and we, we put in uh, some different looks offensively, some different looks defensively. I think the biggest thing, you know, I'm not as keyed in on tempo per se, it's more balance, you know, I just want a more balanced team in terms of scoring um, and as well as the, on the defensive end, but, you know, the, the years we've had success, you know, in the Horizon League are the years we have four or five in double figures, and I think we have those kind of options this year, um, so, it, you know, people just have to step up, um, you know, and, uh, and it, you know, there be different games where different people are stepping up and, and, and carrying a scoring load.